Located between Hawaii and California is the largest accumulation of plastic waste in the ocean, commonly known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which covers over 1.6 million square kilometers, or 620,000 square miles. That's roughly equivalent to the size of the entire country of Mexico, or three times the size of France. And if it were a country, it would rank as the 16th largest in the world. This colossal accumulation is primarily formed from a collection of plastic and floating trash originating from the Pacific Rim, including countries in Asia, North America, and South America. With an estimated 1.15 to 2.41 million tons of plastic entering the ocean annually from rivers, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is expected to continue growing, potentially becoming a continent of plastic waste. However, its growth is soon going to be limited with the introduction of groundbreaking technologies designed to remove and stop much of this waste from entering the oceans. From high-tech barriers equipped with solar-powered mechanics to track and clean up rivers that pour their water into oceans to advanced electric robots designed to collect floating waste and oil from the surface of various water bodies. Here is a look at how some of these revolutionary ocean cleaning technologies work. Interceptor 004 Developed by the Netherlands-based NGO Ocean Cleanup, the Interceptor is a cutting-edge solution for cleaning rivers that flow into oceans. It features solar-powered mechanics, smart processing, and connectivity for easy performance tracking. It works by the use of the Interceptor Barrier, a standalone floating barrier that's shaped like a U and anchored at the mouth of a small river. It's designed to catch all the trash that's flowing in the water and keep it there until it can be removed. But here's the thing, the interceptor barrier can't do it all on its own. It needs a little help from its buddy, the interceptor tender. This little powered barge works alongside the interceptor barriers and uses a conveyor belt to scoop up the trash from the barrier and dump it into a dumpster on shore. The interceptor tender, which was developed in collaboration with Berkey GmbH, is like a mobile trash extraction and offloading unit. It can service multiple barriers and collect up to a whopping 50,000 kilograms of plastic per day. Once the rubbish is collected, it's transported to onboard containers with a total capacity of 50 cubic meters. The best part is that the barge can work autonomously until its storage is full. Even while it's 6'8", three cubic meter dumpsters are being emptied, it can keep on extracting debris. The Interceptor works all year to clean up our rivers and oceans, making it a pretty awesome system that can make a big difference in tackling the plastic problem. Seabin. The Seabin is an innovative creation developed by two Australian innovators designed to collect floating trash in oceans. It operates similar to a fish tank filtration system, but on a larger scale, capable of cleaning entire harbors and marinas. The sea bin is hooked up to a water pump that sucks in any floating trash, trapping it in a mesh bag. Then, the pump sends out all nice and clean water. Given that oil can deteriorate ocean health faster than most other substances, the sea bin also comes with an optional system to remove oil. This system uses an oil water separator to filter out oil and harmful detergents from the water before releasing it back into the ocean. The Seabin operates continuously, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, offering an efficient and cost-effective alternative to manual waste removal. It can be easily installed on any floating dock, making it suitable for various environments including ports, marinas, yacht clubs, private pontoons, inland waterways, residential lakes, and harbors. Mr. Trash Wheel Invented by John Kellett in 2008, Mr. Trash Wheel is a semi-autonomous trash interceptor placed at the end of rivers, streams, or other outfalls. 
Containment booms funnel trash flowing down the river into Mr. Trash Wheel's wide mouth with a two-foot skirt that captures trash floating beneath the surface. These booms also help stop oil slicks from polluting the water. Powered by water wheels and solar cells, it rakes trash from the water onto an onboard conveyor belt, which then routes it into dumpsters on the vessel. The conveyor belt moves slowly, but is strong enough to lift anything that comes down the river, including tires, mattresses, and even trees. When the trash reaches the top of the conveyor belt, it falls into a dumpster on a separate floating barge. Once the dumpster is full, it is towed away and replaced with an empty one. Waste Shark Inspired by the Whale Shark, the Waste Shark is an autonomous surface vessel designed by RAN Marine Technology to efficiently manage aquatic waste. Resembling a small catamaran with a centrally positioned basket between its hulls, the Waste Shark boasts a sleek and robust design. It incorporates a variety of sensors and advanced technologies, enabling precise navigation and thorough cleaning of water bodies making it an effective solution for waste management. The Waste Shark can operate in two modes. Manual, where users control its operations for real-time adaptability in targeting specific areas for waste collection or data gathering. And it also has an autonomous mode designed for efficient operations based on preset mission routes. Specifically tailored for use in ports and harbours, it has the capacity to collect up to 350 kilograms of trash in a single operation. Aquatic Trash Skimmer Aquatic skimmers are vessels designed for retrieving floating trash and debris from all types of water bodies, including ports, harbours and marinas. These skimmers collect trash in their storage conveyors, transport the waste to an offloading point, and discharge it into a suitable container. Equipped with comprehensive instrumentation and hydrostatic hydraulics, a single operator can manage all functions of the debris skimmer without direct contact with the refuse. The skimmers feature adjustable collection flares, allowing the operator to clean both tight corners and large areas of debris. Depending on their size and capacity, Aquatic skimmer boats are propelled by various means, including hydraulically driven paddle wheels, outboard engines, inboard outboard diesel engines, or hydraulic outboards. They are capable of collecting up to 1,200 cubic feet of floating trash per load. River Cleaning System The river cleaning system is a modular barrier composed of floating buoys designed to retain and redirect incoming litter on various types of rivers and waterways. It is especially effective in flowing waters, where the natural current spins each module similarly to a turbine. The system is installed diagonally across part or the entirety of the waterway. This configuration, along with the rotational movement of the buoys, guides the trash towards a collection point near the riverbank. Operating autonomously 24 hours a day, seven days a week without the need for personnel, the river cleaning system is highly efficient. It is fully scalable, allowing for customization based on the river's size, current strength, and other factors to ensure optimal performance. Jellyfish Bot Developed by IADES, the Jellyfish Bot is an advanced electric robot designed to collect floating waste and oil from the surface of various water bodies, ensuring total safety for the user. This lightweight and affordable machine offers a reliable and innovative solution for waste collection on water. The Jellyfish Bot not only ensures safety and security, but also provides an enjoyable driving experience for users. One of the standout features of the Jellyfish Bot is its ability to access and clean hard-to-reach areas with ease, operating either autonomously or via remote control. This flexibility makes it an ideal tool for maintaining cleanliness in diverse aquatic environments. Additionally, the Jellyfish Bot can be equipped with a sonar system, enabling it to conduct bathymetric surveys up to a depth of 10 meters. This capability adds a valuable dimension to its functionality, allowing for detailed mapping and analysis of underwater topography.